Okay. So, A Course in Miracles talks about the eternal sons of God. Can I speak on this? Now, there is a problem um, that if you use language to talk about something, um, uh, you can end up mixing different levels of consciousness. And so linguistically, things do not make sense. And at the absolute level, there is no language and there is no world. Um, so, so if there's no language and there's no world, how can you talk about that using words? Uh, and when you're talking, you're talking to people who are in the illusion that they believe they are in separation in the world. So you see the conundrums. So what the Course in Miracles is saying, it, well, once you're eternal, once you're infinite, you're beyond this world, you see. You're not, you're not a body, you're not your thoughts. And the eternal, um, you know, can never die, it's never born. Uh, it's beyond uh, the level of infinity. There is no finite form that can exist there, from my experience. So there is no world, there is no this, there is no that, there is no experiencer, and there is no experienced. Uh, it's beyond, it's like, uh, and that can, of course, never die and never be born and is not subject to form or change. But what it does mean within the context of the collective illusion of separation is that as one does the spiritual work, like the Course in Miracles or the Observer, one is going towards the infinite. And so there's more, I mean, it's not really linguistically correct, but there's more people towards the infinite in this world of collective separation and illusion. So, um, so it's like people are going towards the eternal within the collective illusion. So you could call them the eternal sons of God within the, the world of separation, which is limited and subject to change. So it doesn't make sense linguistically, but of course, um, as St. Francis says, is in dying, one is born to eternal life. One gets the experience of the eternal infinite, the never born, the never dying, that which is beyond all form and all change. So that's what I, uh, I would say the Course in Miracles is referring to uh, when it refers to the eternal sons of God. Of course, it does um, bring... Um, for someone in the infinite, it doesn't make sense, the paragraph. If you're eternal, how can there be more than one? Because more than one would imply their separation. And, uh, and uh, you know, several, several sons, but actually in truth, there are no sons um, at the absolute level of infinity. So you can't have two when there's only one. So the, the, that create, can create confusion. But that's just a, a level of consciousness uh, problem. And when you use words to try and describe the eternal and the world of separation in the same sentence, you're going to run into linguistic um, problems. Okay, so we'll stop there.